Hello and welcome back audience to my FIFA 15 West Ham career mode and before we get into these episode guys I just want to say a huge big thank you to everyone that did drop a supportive comment. Me and my family are hugely grateful for all the absolutely awesome comments that you did leave on the videos. We had the likes of Charlie, we had Jules, we had Ario Craft, we had Niall, we just had so many of you guys, there was Own Bob, Black Forest, Ben, Travis, just so many of you left awesome comments, whether it was like, listen Brad, you're a really good YouTuber, take some time off and just chill, you know, love your videos, if you want to take a break, it's no problem with me, Brad, you have an awesome YouTube channel, an awesome fan base, we support you through no matter what, and hopefully many more will come your way, if one of your family members is ill, you should definitely take time off, relax and look after them, Brad, don't worry about us, your family are more important to us, I mean, that is just... It's just absolutely insane what you guys said. It, it really did mean the absolute most world to me. And just to give you a bit of an update, I know obviously you guys probably don't want to hear about my family life that much, but basically my father's had a head injury. Um, he has had an operation. We're just now kind of waiting on results. I've been to see him today. He does seem a lot better in himself. He seems a lot calmer. He seems to... He was getting a bit forgetful and a, a bit slurring in his words and stuff. He seems a bit more positive today and he was talking away and telling me about things and talking work with me. So it does look like there may be a bit of an up, but until these results come back, which take four to five days, we won't really know how to go forward with this and we won't know how to fix it or whether it can even be fixed. But fingers crossed, guys. But I just want to say a huge big thank you from me and my family just for those awesome comments. I did show my mum and father uh, many of these comments and they just... They've just got a bit teary, the fact that you guys support my channel and when something happens in my life, you even support that, which just makes me feel absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for that, guys. I really do appreciate it. But nevertheless, today's episode, we are against Peterborough. We are at home, thankfully, and it is the FA Cup Round 3, which I'm looking forward to. I'm going for the same tactic as we did against Liverpool, if you remember. I knew Liverpool were going to attack down the wings and they had a bit of a pacey team. So the first thing I thought of is if we can match that again, and I'm thinking we should be able to outrun Peterborough. I would have thought so. So I've gone for Valencia and Malpai up top. We've got Ravel Morrison, who was an absolute beast last game for us. Absolutely insane player. And I was going to swap him for Coutinho. What a mistake that would have been. So I've brought Ravel Morrison straight back into the team. I've got Balassi and Trejo at left and right centre midfielder. And I've also got Cresswell, Tomkins, Reed, Bruma and Vars at the back with Adrian and Goal. Obviously I'm going to be leaving Vars at the back because he's just full of pace and that's what I like. You know, we've got the quick counter attacks on the go so it helps out quite a lot. But nevertheless guys, not got much more to say. All I can say is if you do enjoy this video, smash that thumbs up for me. Drop your comments down below. If you are new around here, click that subscribe button. Hopefully we can get off to a good win today. We can get through to the next round. Knock Peterborough out of the FA Cup. And hopefully we can have some positive vibes out of this game guys. Because I'm hoping for it. Today's been a pretty positive day for me. Especially after the news of my dad and speaking to him and stuff. He seems a lot more positive in himself. So... Getting off to a win would just pretty much put more positive thoughts into me, so let's do this. The Welcome FA Cup. The it's FA a night game, 8pm probably kick off at the bowling ground. Let's get to East London and the Berlin ground. The okay, the game has froze. What is going on? There we go, it hasn't froze. Enna Valencia, six goals in all competition, and sure he'll probably bag one today. So what we're going to do is... Although it's Peterborough, we're going to stay as we normally do, defensive. And then we're going to get on the counter-attack. And this is just what we do. This works well for us. And this was actually a subscriber that recommended all this to me. So, absolutely awesome. The fact you guys know what you're talking about. And you're just all so helpful. So, thank you so much. Let's go, let's go, 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 go. Go on, Cresswell. Nice little dink in. Find Valencia. Edge of the box, Valencia with the header. It's a corner, though. Come on, look at this. Four minute, let's get a goal. Come on, fourth minute. Bruma. No. Oh, nearly fell to Malpai. Come on, Vars, chase it and control it. Well done. That was lovely control. Absolutely spectacular. It's not easy to bring a ball down like that, guys, and just stop it dead on the line, especially for a 70-odd rated. It's just not easy at all. Here we go. Trejo. Waiting for the run of Vars. Come on, Vars, let's go. Oh, no. Thought that was going to be a free kick then. Surely he stopped them making that run. Surely. He's injured. He's injured. Oh, that's not good. I knew there was a reason I couldn't select him. A, a bruised shoulder. 
Really, Voss? That's why you're going off for a bruised shoulder. Are you mad? To get Bellerin on. So we've already had to waste a sub already, guys. That was not what I was expecting. I'm hoping, well, with a bruised elbow or a bruised shoulder. I think it's only normally four to five days, but it's just a bruise. I mean, are you mad? It's, just, it's not serious. It's a bruise. We get bruises every day. You can't say that was serious. You actually just can't. Go on, Balassi, hit that. Oh, that was terrible. On target, but just no pace, no accuracy behind it. Straight at the keeper. Not good enough, Balassi. Chase that back. Go on. Washington. Washington. Come on, Treo. Nice. Keep it in. Nope. Ah, I wanted Vars to keep playing. He was playing well in that right back position. I was actually enjoying him being there, to be honest. Come on, track back. Come on, Valencia, move yourself. Let's go. Nice, good tackle. Oh, it's a shame. Okay, that's not a shame. Let's go, Valencia. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Morrison, what are you doing, you spanner? Get hold of it and hit it. Probably was a little bit too far behind him. I'm going to give him the uh, the edge of the doubt there because it just seemed a bit... Uh, a bit Far-fetched, bit too far behind him. Come on, Balassi. feel like we're messing here. Come on. That's nice. Come on, Bella. A nice little dink in. Back post for Valencia. Come on, Valencia. Chase it. Oh, what are you doing? Right, we're going to have to get a goal soon. I feel like we're absolutely all over them, but we definitely need a goal because we know how it goes. We're all over the team. They go and score 1-0 and it's all downhill for us from there. Come on. Oh, look at that. He's well and truly outrun you. Get back. Ferdinand. No. Offside. Seen that a mile away. Absolutely miles off. Play it short. There we go. Tompkins. Cresswell. This is nice. Come on, Malpai. Come on. Nearly. Morrison's still on it, though. Comes through to Valencia. Oh, Valencia's trying to dance him. Unlucky. Come on, lads. Let's track back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's one thing I've learnt now. When you're running back, try and bring the defenders or the midfielders back with you. Instead of always coming forwards with the defenders, run the midfielders back. And again, a subscriber told me that, so thank you so much. Just run them back. Get it out. Oh, it's miles over. I know it's a miles, but it's probably at least two foot, I would have thought. Go on, set it out, short ball, up to Bellerin. Nice ball over to Cresswell. Cresswell. To line for Valencia. Inside for Morrison. Yes, small pie. Nice little ball on the outside for Valencia. Oh, I just can't get there. They defended well, and if he'd have missed that, and he'd have dropped it behind, or we'd have tackled him, he could have been in serious trouble. Could have been a huge mistake. Well done, Morrison. Well done indeed. Plays it up to small pie. I was looking for the run, but nobody seemed to make it. Here we go. Let's go. Morrison. No, you've been tackled. Lucky, lucky, lucky he got that ball then. If Morrison gets down one of these wings, he's a goner. He is literally gone. There is no way they are catching him ever. It's too quick. Once he gets going, his acceleration's... Oh, good save, Adrian. His acceleration's not amazing, but his, his speed when he gets going is pretty decent. So, especially against a team like this, you wouldn't have thought they would catch them. But, again, I can't really say anything amazing's happened in this episode because it really hasn't. Unless something's about to happen now. Come on, Malpai. See, again, we just got no support. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Malpai. Get past. Come on. No. Close. Come on, Bellerin. Get up there. Well done. Chase it again. No, that's all right. We got it. We got it. Calm. Play over that far side. That's nice. Go on, line that for trail. Run that trail. Go on. Run it. Cut it back. That's it. Play it into Valencia. Oh, nearly. Okay. It's all right. Get it out to Cresswell. That's nice. Play it inside. Inside again. Stuffy, stuffy, fool. So lucky coming in with that slide tackle there. Oh, referee, jog on. Jog on. It's just a little bit of a barge. Get it out, let's go. No, you're giving him straight back. Oh, come on, Morrison, should have been all over that. No Ref, come on. Are you actually mad? This is just a bit of 
football on a pitch, there's bound to be barges and stuff, and you're pulling it back every little touch. Oh no. Oh no. Good tackle, come on. Nice, well done. Here we go. Come on, this has got to be it. Come on, Morrison, run with me. Go on, I see that run, Trail. Come on. Come on, Trail. That's nice. Oh, I tried to fake choice and went the other way. Never mind. Half time whistle is blown, guys. Still nil nil. Not what I was looking for, but I feel we've controlled the game from start to half time pretty much. There's been not much they've done down our end. I feel we are a lot more attacking. And maybe the fact the team are quite tired. I mean, we did only play Liverpool three days ago. We did manage to get a 2 2 draw. And pretty much the team run their heart out for that game, so maybe that is the problem. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to bring on. What should I do? Bring on Sacco. And I'm going to bring on... Hmm, how can I do this? Let's think. I'm going to bring on Noble for Morrison. And then I'm going to swap Morrison and Balassi. There we go. Although I'd like to bring Leonardo on or Zarate. That's what I'm going for. I'm going to play Balassi in a bit more of a central attack and midfield role. Just so he's a bit more attacking. He's got a decent attack on mind, Balassi. And he's got strength. He's got pace. So hopefully now Sacco's come on. One of them, Valencia or Sacco, can bag a goal. If not Balassi. Or a defender from a corner or something. We just definitely... Look at that. Already getting in there. Well done. Come on, Balassi. Run it. Oh, not good enough. You've got to run at more of an angle. Well, at least he's up there. At least he's already made an attempt. Let's go. Come on. Come across goal. Washington. Come across goal, please. Come on. Force Smith. him out wide. No, oh, that's not good enough. You've let him pass far too easy. No, it. ball's come in. Get it out. Oh, Ferdinand gets to it. There. Did it take a deflection right, off Bellerin? Right no. Nope. Lucky. Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. No panic. No panic. Come on, Bellerin. On EA Sports, quick. Of your Come memory. on, you can't be doing that, surely. He slid in from about 30 yards yeah, away from me. Well, maybe not 30 yards, it. like, but... Go, Bellerin. Come on. Come on. One more touch. Good little ball in. Balassi! No. Oh, nearly. Let's come to Tompkins. Trejo. Balassi on the right foot. Drills it in and he's gone for bottom left corner and he has drilled it across goal. Terrible Balassi, you should be putting them on target, surely. Right, let's get a bit more attacking. Maybe it's because we're still defensive. Maybe we need that uh, attacking mind going forwards. Sacco. Ref, come on. Valencia. This is nice. This is nice. Look for it. Oh, look at this. Come on, lads, please. Well done, Cresswell. Lovely touch by Noble. Oh, no, it was Treo, sorry. Play it back, line it. Inside. No. Oh, come on. Get to that. Uh oh. Let it play. Let it play. That was a mistake. Oh, come on, ref. He played on there. He played the ball, didn't he? Come on, mark up. Mark up. Mark up. Well done. That's nice. That's a good interception. No, where are we going? What are we actually doing? Play it back. There we go. Cresswell. Play that, Cresswell. That's nice. Trejo. That's nice. Come on. Oh, Balassi. Play it harder. Play a longer ball. No balls there. Come on, Balassi. Head that. You should be jumping, Balassi. What are you doing to me? I can't believe we're still drawing against this team. I really can't. No. No. And they've nearly scored. They've just come closer to scoring than we have the whole entire game. Ref. Yes, come on, Bellerin. No, what have you done? You spoof. Are you mad? I actually don't know what Bellerin has just done then. That was absolutely shocking. Absolutely terrible touch. Come on, get on him. Nice. Come away with the ball. Oh, lads, we seriously have to do something here. No, come on. Nice. Ultra attacking. Come to attack. There we go. We're definitely all on now. Come on, lads. Up your game for me. No, but that is just shocking. Why can't you just play a pass past the midfielder? I don't understand. 
played it into the wide area there, played it well. Come on, get on them, lads. Please, they're on the attacker, yeah. Good tack. Oh, you've given them a straight back. What are you doing? No, they're too close to goal. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, good save, Adrian. Keep it in. Oh, well done. Get it out, Adrian. Well done indeed. Oh, you've given them back. You've given them it back. You've given them it back. No! Oh, wow. We've given them it back again. Are we Are we actually having a laugh here? Come on, Valencia. Come on, run it. Run it. Don't stop running. Keep running. That's nice. Come on, keep running. Keep running. Cut it back. Play it in the middle. Oh, Sacco! There we go. They've panicked. They've put it out for the throw and we're still in there off. 82 minutes. I just can't believe this. We've got a whole 83 minutes now and we still haven't got a goal. Balassi hit it. Oh, what are you doing, Balassi? You've had so many shots and you can't even put one on target. The first one you put on target was just tapped into his hands. Tap, tap, tap. tap a -roo. Needs to be buried in the net. Berry, berry, roo. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah. I don't even care, ref. I don't care. I actually don't care. He just mugged me off. Valencia, I don't know what you've been doing all game as well. Scored six goals in all competitions. Can't even score a goal against Peterborough. I mean, what is that saying, eh? And we can't even play the ball out. Excellent. Oh, referee. Forget about it, because I'm going. Valencia. Sacco. Come on, Treo. I know, I know you're tired. Come on, Bellerin. Come on, last chance. Get a good ball in. Noble. No. It's going to be over this. It's actually going to finish. What? Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Come on, Noble. Come on. Ref. Ref. Penalty. Are you mad? Why haven't I got a penalty? Didn't he, did he just not cripple me in the box? Oh, we didn't even get a uh, corner either. Oh, ref, you're gone. You have literally just mugged us off. Is this actually going to end? No, no, no. Is that really how it's going? It actually has. The whistle has gone, guys, and I am so sorry. How we didn't win that, I don't know. Nil, nil against Peterborough. Look at the stats, we only had one shot on target and that was Balassi's at the start, his finesse shot. They hammered us on the stats apart from possession. As the commentator just said, we had our chances and the one chance we had, we did even take very well. So, I'm not sure guys, but I think if you draw in round three, I'm pretty sure you have to play the match again later on. So what we're going to do now is, is we're going to advance to the next game. We're going to see what uh, emails we've got in the office. I'm thinking they're going to be transfers and people we've gone in for. Obviously, I did say to you guys last episode, I did go in for a few players. So what we'll do is we'll go over to the office and have a quick look. So we got played, sorry, player injured. Daniel Vars has suffered a bruised shoulder and will be out for nine days. Nine days of a bruised shoulder? What's going on? Let's delete that. Transfer offer for Adrian. Is it going to be a big club? Oh, Cardiff City won him. Everton three. Ah, oh, Cardiff, if you want him, you have to pay me 12 million. I know you're my old club and stuff, but I want 12 million for him. I want more than 10. I think he's worth more than 10. So we've just received word on Peterborough. Will be our round three replay opponent in the FA Cup. Please plan our squad and tactics accordingly. So again, we've got to play them again. Boss, even though I've told you I see my future elsewhere, I want you to know that I won't let my performance suffer for this club in the meantime. Well, thank you very much, Adrian. And after seeing you play last game, some of the saves you pulled off, I 100% believe that is true. Borussia Dortmund target Chelsea's Aguero, eh? You must be getting played. Right, let's go down. Delete, delete. Cardiff. They don't believe he's worth that much, so you're not having him then. Khan uh, Yahan has come back and said that they want more for him. Well, okay, we will offer you... We'll offer you three million. What I'm going to do, actually, guys, is I asked you last episode, do you want me to ask the, uh, the board for some money? I'm actually going to ask them in a minute. And Ochoa has come back and said, it's not enough, cash-wise. So, what if... What if we offered you a straight swap for Adrian? Would you take that? 
I mean, that's probably not a bad deal. Straight swap, Adrian for Ochoa. Yeah, Ochoa is a better keeper, or better rated at the moment, but he is older, so he's going to start coming down soon. We've also received a transfer offer. It's a loan. Burnley want to take Turgot on loan, so okay, goodbye Turgot. I mean, he's 22, overall 66. He's never going to get in our squad, but he might get in the squad in the future, so there we go. He's gone off. Hopefully, he'll pick up some goals. Cancel all them and get rid of them. Let's advance in a little bit more time. See if we get any more emails, which we have. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, press conference. No. Transfer offer. Andy Carroll and Adrian. That's what I like to see. Andy Carroll is worth 4.9 mil. They've offered seven. I'll tell you what. You give me 11 and you can have them. Villarreal wants Andy Carroll. Give me 11 mil and you can have them. And whole city have come in at three. No, no one's having him for less. You could have him for eleven. No one's having him for less than ten mil. He's easily worth ten mil. If I was looking for a keeper, I would probably pay ten million for him. I mean, you're not going to get any other keepers around his age and his rating for less than ten mil. You're just not. So our next opponent is going to be Sunderland on the fifteenth of January. Oh, they've come back and said they will give me ten million. Do you know what? Let's just try and scrape a little bit more out of them. Because if we offer 10.6, we should get around 9 clear. So we want 10.6 million pounds, my friend. So let's delete that, delete that. I can't believe it. Andy Carroll might be on his way out for over 10 million. That would be absolutely awesome. And I've just seen there, is Balotelli on his way out? They won 7.1 million for Ochoa. Well, that's just not happening. They offered you Adrian, that's all you're having. I thought I'd just seen Liverpool and Mario's name in a uh, in the news. Let's have a quick look at that. Liverpool retained services of Mario. Oh, no, he's staying. Balotelli has rejected Valencia CF's transfer. I will play on my contract with Liverpool and decide my future then, but in the short term, I have no intention of leaving. Well done, Mario. Good for you. Oh, look at that. Aguero to join Borussia Dortmund on a free transfer. Are you mad? They got him for nothing pretty much apart from having to pay his wage. That is an absolute joke. Can't believe it. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the office. We're going to request some funds. I'd preferably like... I'd like 10 million. Mm. Yeah, we'll try that. And we can reach that. Come on, give me 10 million. That, that's all I'm asking for. That's to bring in a decent keeper if Adrian leaves anytime soon. Or an extra striker. Come on, you can do that for me. We've got an email back. I know this episode's gone on a little bit longer, guys. I do apologise. And we're going to have the same problem again. So, we've reviewed, but we don't believe the sum you've specified is a bit excessive. In our current financial situation, we have thus decided not to... Oh, jog on. That's a joke, isn't it? Hull City have come in for... No. They've said that they don't believe Adrian's worth that much. That's your loss, not a problem. Right, so we'll go in and ask for maybe six million. Do you think they'll give us six million? Surely they must give us six million. Come on. It's just six. No, nope, not five, but six. The extra million will help. Come on, six million. Do it for me, please, please, please. I could do with it. And we've got one day left. And as you can see, guys, we're going to have the same problems last time. We've got Sunderland on the Sunday. And then three days later on the bounce, we have Peterborough in the replay on the 18th. Which is going to be a super duper problem for us, guys. Because we we don't have the energy then. So pretty much, we're going to have to play a okay standard team against Sunderland and try and pick up the win. Now, Sunderland are only one point behind us. And they've played the same amount of games as us. So really, we could do with picking up the win. Just so we can get back on level terms with Newcastle. But... I feel against Sunderland we should be able to pick up the win, no problem. But the main thing is the FA Cup. We need to get through that because the board have set us targets and we need to hit that target. But guys, that's all I've got time for. If you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you smash that thumbs up for me. Drop your comments down below. If you are new around here, click that subscribe button. And it has been your boy, brothers. Peace out.